A legend of tap dance for seven decades has died. Maurice Hines gained fame with his brother Gregory as the Hines Brothers, delighting audiences on stage, television, and film. Jeffrey Brown has our remembrance as part of our arts and culture series, Canvas. Take some clay. The art, the energy, Look at him. All right. the sheer joy of their movement. Maurice and younger brother Gregory Hines helped revitalize and bring tap back to the forefront of popular culture. They began dancing as young children in Harlem. What are you doing way over there? Gained a large following through TV appearances and on stage. And starred in the 1984 Francis Ford Coppola film, Cotton Club. The film was a nod to an earlier part of the tap tradition, including one famed model for the Heinz brothers, the Nicholas brothers. Intent on continuing that tradition, Gregory Hines would become a mentor to contemporary tap phenom, Savian Glover. And Maurice Hines took that role seriously as well. We met him in 2010 when he was 66 and working with young dancers on a new production of Sophisticated Ladies, a review based on the life of Duke Ellington at Washington, D.C.'s Lincoln Theater. Two high school brothers, John and Leo Manzari, now well-respected professional tappers in their own right, caught his attention. What does a good tap dancer have to have? Well, first of all, they have great feet, and they're improvisational. And that's what my brother was. And so they could do anything that I wanted them to do. Anything. And also they have the, the, the one that they love dancing together, like Greg and I did. And they have the, the one thing that you're either born with, you cannot make it, you cannot hype it up, Either you have charisma or you don't. And they had it. Gregory and I had it. They have it. Gregory Hines died of cancer at age 57 in 2003. Maurice Hines continued to dance, performing on tour as recently as 2019. He died last Friday at age 80. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown.